video tutorial of demonstration for Photoshop Pro. Hello to all. As a prelude to complete coming lessons, we are pleased to present you a little tutorial for the program Photoshop Pro the firm AMS software. This new program is a mounting table photography in the form of a video. It can provide multiple effects, to mix them, and still another, a set of photographs and adding soundtracks. We will see, for example, the creation of a Polaroid effect. Here effect obtained. Open our program and see how to proceed to achieve this result. We'll start with insert a blank slide. To make this, right click on the first location in the timeline and in the context menu, choose, insert a blank slide. There are others created in the first location. Open the slide editor. To do this, either you made a right click on the slide, and on the shortcut menu, choose the option, editor slide, or, you double click on the thumbnail of the slide. In both cases, the editor opens. It opens in slide tab, which allows you to set the basic parameters and the content thereof. First, we will change its duration. L is currently 5 seconds, set it to 12 seconds. Attention! Transition time output is counted in the length of slide, the latter being 2 seconds, the effective length of the slide is 10 seconds, plus, 2 seconds of transition. We create our effect starting from the back screen. We will use a layer as background, but to give it a black and white effect, we need a black background. We will keep the bottom screen, or, background, black solid color. To create the black and white effect to an image using the program, we must proceed as follows. In the background of the image, a black image file, similar to this size, then wide image, which we will apply the original photograph as a mask. The masking effect taking into account the intensity and not the diversity of color, the white image will become more transparent when the image is black, and so we shall see black background, giving an an effect, from white to black. So add the white image, the size should not necessarily be the same as your photo. Click the command, add an item, then in the drop-down menu, choose the option, Photography. A browser window opens. Select a blank image, closer to size your photograph, click, open, to incorporate it into your slide. Your image is added, and is placed in the center of the slide, its depth and size of the file size. We will expand until it completely covers the work area. To do this, click the plus symbol, as many times as necessary, until the desired result. Now add our photography as a mask for our white image. Click the command, add mask. The exploration file window opens, but it explores only the mask folder of your program. Bottom left, you have a command permitted explore folder on your computer. Click to open the file explorer. Now select your photograph, and click, open, to apply as a mask to your image. Because the mask is automatically set to the same size as the image to which it is applied, in our example, our photography is slightly flattened. Then we'll see how correct it. But more importantly reached, our picture is now in black and white. We want our background screen goes from color, to black and white, while the appearance of the image of Polaroid. So add a second layer, our photo. Click, add an element, and in the explorer, select a photograph. Click, open, to add to our slide. As for the first layer, it is added to the center of the slide, and the proportion varies depending on the size of the image used. 
Repeat the same operation as the first layer. Enlarge your image using the plus symbol until it completely covers the slide. Now open the animation tab by clicking on its name. We want the transition from color to black and white is done between the 6th and the 8th second of our slide. Place your cursor at the 6th second time. Then, click the plus symbol to add a key at this time. Repeat this operation at the 8th second. The latter key, we will adjust the opacity to 0%. Enter this value directly in the field of digital trimming opacity. If you move the time slider, you will notice that there is a difference in size between the image color and black and white. So we will change the values of the size of the first layer until the two image coincides. Return to the tab, slide, then select the first layer. At this time, if your time is not at zero, the program will ask you if you want to add a key at this time. Click No. Your first layer is now selected. Return to the tab, Animation, and modify the value of independently zoom X and I, Greek, until the perfect coincidence to layer. Now we have the fade effect of the background. Made a click on the play command to see the result. We will add a final effect to our image in black and white. We will more clear lighting. To do this, return to the tab, slide, and add a new layer of the white image. As previously, then expand until it covers your entirely slide. Go to the animation tab, and set the opacity to 25%. Now you will find that your background is cleared by adding your white layer. But here is the two layer are clarified, and we want this effect to the layer black and white only. Return to the slide tab, and using the command level down, the green down arrow, move your layer between black and white, the first layer, and the color image, which is now the third layer. Here, now, the effect of clearing act only as the first layer. Now see the second part of our purpose, the camera. Click, add an item, and choose the option, Photography. In Explorer, select your camera. Caution, contain your photograph in transparency, PNG or equivalent, in order to have the device itself, without background. Import your image into your slide by clicking on Open. Your device is placed in the center of the slide, as with all imported items. Click and hold the click and move your camera to the desired location. You can also change the size if necessary. The camera is fixed in our animation, and requires no further adjustment. So we will now add the effect of the flash. To do this, we need an image with a concentric gradient from white to black to give the effect of light scattering. So add this layer. In the mask directory, we find what we seek. We will use the 38 color picture. Open this picture. We are going to move, so that its center corresponds to the location of the flash of the camera. Proceed as we did with the camera. Click on your image, hold click and then move to the desired location. We will add a mask to the image, in order to be able to give it the appearance of a flash of light, and to play on the effect of light scattering. Click the Add Mask command, and in Explorer, select the appropriate file. Click OK to apply it to your layer. Go to the Animation tab, and set the opacity of your image at 0%. It is now completely transparent, and you can take the opportunity to refine their trimming position in order that it is perfectly centered on the camera flash. We will perform the flash to the second second, and it will last for half a second. As we have seen previously, add a key to the second second. 
image itself should not be changed. Only the mask will determine the brightness of the flash, a minimum size, to more or less cover half of the slide. In the lower part of the window trimming, you have options for the mask. Set its size to 1%. Now add a key at the end of the effect of the flash or 2.5 seconds. We will enlarge until it covers 3 quarters of the slide. Click the command expand, the plus symbol, to the desired result, in our example, 590%, and set the opacity 100%, so as to see the effect. In trimming party mask, increase its size until the effect of light scattering, without seeing the dark. In this example, we are to 75%. Reset the opacity to 0%. The effective light must be fully on three-quarter time flash, add a key at this time. Then, adjust the opacity of the image to 100%. Here our flash effect is complete. Play the animation to see the effect. We will now proceed to the placement of the image of Polaroid. It will consist of three parts. First, the paper support on a Polaroid, it is more or less square. The second is the image itself, and finally, we will use a black image, to allow the appearance of the image after a few seconds. Therefore add our first layer, a white image. In the animation tab, give it a more or less square size, with the zoom controls X and Y. Moving our image Polaroid location, and perform the effect of rotation in three directions, so as to being plain with respect to the device. Reduce its size to coincide with that of the interior of the device, and adjust its position so that the image is virtually inside or of. The photo will come out of the unit to the third second. Add a key at this time, then add a key at the end of the animation of the image, or at the eighth second. This key, set to zero all the values of rotation, place your layer in the right part of the image, and scale it to the desired size. Now add a key to four and a half seconds, or to a second and a half after the beginning of the animation of the photo, it's time for that go out of device. Adjust the rotation, the position and size, to coincide with the outlet of the apparatus. Select the last key in the 8 second, and give a horizontal 360 degrees rotation. Add a key to the 6 second, and adjust the position and rotation for an optimal effect of the movement. Here is the result. Now we must give effect to appearance of the image out of the Polaroid. We use the mask function to do this. Put your time to zero, and open the item tab. Add as a mask, the same image that the main layer. Go to the animation tab, and go down the mask completely out of the picture, is it 150%? Indeed, the center of the image is 50%, more, the entire value of the image is 100% gives us good value of 150%. Our image is now invisible. Repeat for the second key. Let any other key to their initial values, a 50%, where the mask completely covers. Moving of the mask between the second and third key gives the appearance of that photography outgoing of the device end. Here is the result. Now add a photograph itself. To do this, we simply duplicate the layer of paper. Just come and slide tap, the paper layer is already selected, click the command, copy, then the command, paste. Your duplicated layer is now, with all the key in the original option. Select the copy or the last layer. Go to the tab element, and use the open command to change the image. 
select the photo and apply there. Your image must be slightly smaller than a paper. Go to the animation tab and for each key, make a click on the zoom less. Here, your image is now synchronized to the paper. Is the result. Last, we add the effect of the appearance of the image. To do this, as previously, duplicate the last layer. Select the copy and modify the image by the black picture. Attention, it must have the same format as the picture. Apply it to your layer, then go to the animation tab. Select the last key and give value to 0% opacity. Here, the effect is complete. Save your work and close the slide editor. You can add a black slide first and transitions flash style. Here are the final results. This tutorial is a pro to complete future lessons on using the program Photoshop Pro from its grip to advanced functions. Thank you for your attention. Katrina and Patrick